My name is Jamie Shears, and I was still at university when I first heard about the plans to build a large hadron collider in the LEP tunnel. Most of my working career has been on that one tunnel and the two machines in it. We would like to think that there's a more or less equal collaboration between the machine, the experiments, and the computing. All three are needed to produce the scientific results. Now, from the point of view of the experiments or the machine, they would probably put computing way down in importance, which certainly historically was probably true maybe a couple of decades ago. Now, I, I don't think it really represents reality. You build this machine, which takes two decades, but once they're all ready and, and you get the data, without computing, without worldwide computing, you can't actually analyze the data and hopefully produce the scientific results that it's all for. So I, I think computing really should be on a, on a slightly more equal footing with, with the other aspects. The total number of sites is, is several hundred. It's very important that all the sites are properly represented. We thought maybe having events outside CERN, but that might be harder. On the other hand, it's very important to understand the value that the sites play, and, and so probably we should have some of these workshops uh, hosted at the main Tier 1 and Tier 2 sites. The chance to actually relax a bit with your colleagues, I think, is also very important in this aspect of building a, a collaboration that, that is stable and sustainable. We had a barbecue, and two-thirds to three-quarters of the people attended that, there was one group that was talking late into the night about middleware and other problems, but there were other groups who were talking about the merits of sausages from different countries and things like that. But uh, I think, on the whole, the fact that many people stayed for four or five hours, it, it was a success. Most of the sites said they weren't required to do a lot of extra work. They certainly weren't required to do uh, sort of hero work working 16, 18 hours a day. I think when the machine is running, initially there will be obviously a huge amount of excitement and I think people having to work a few hours longer they will be actually very willing to do because they will be so motivated. But we've demonstrated that it isn't required for stable operation. I'm very motivated to see all of this conclude and deliver a service and hopefully there will be some advances in the science that will match the effort that's been put in uh, both on the technology side ranging from the machine, the detectors, the computing uh, as well as the scientific side.